Greetings, only friends. Welcome back to our virtual Homecoming 2020 celebration. Because we can't invite you to join us on campus for the traditional homecoming lunch, we invite you to join us by learning to make groundhog gravy wherever you are. I'm Anne Marie Tabor, class of 1979 and employed at Only since 2010. With me is Amanda Lowe, our kitchen manager. Hello. Amanda has agreed to teach me how to make groundhog gravy. I never learned because when I was a student here, my mom, Fran Tabor, was running the kitchen. Therefore, I have stayed away from the kitchen ever since. But this year, because you can't come to the Only Kitchen, I've agreed to help bring the Only Kitchen to you by making this video. Here we go. For groundhog gravy, you will need one pound ground beef or sausage. Today we are using sausage, one onion chopped, two cups of hot milk, one fourth cup of flour, one teaspoon of marjoram, one teaspoon of sage, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. The first step is browning the ground sausage. Okay. That's the groundhog, right? It's the groundhog. Ah. It's where the name groundhog gravy comes from. No actual groundhogs were harmed in the making of this dish. Thank goodness. When it starts to brown, you add the onion. You'll put that into the pan. No good already. Next, we're going to add the flour and enough milk to make a paste. And then you're going to continue to saute the flour until it dries. I am whisking a little bit of the flour in the milk just to keep it consistent. And finally, we're going to add the salt, pepper. Sage and margarine. And then feel free to add your favorite potato topping. Now for the fun part, testing. Is it going to taste like I remember? Yep, tastes like only. 